Uh, this is another video of an oven door not closing properly. This time we have a Simpson oven. Polaris or any other Simpson models are the same. And this video is the, the double hinge type door. Uh, the tools you will need for this job is a hammer, a vice or vice grips, a large flat screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and either a small screwdriver or a three inch nail. Push the door fully down and lift these two little clips onto there and onto there. Now lift the whole door out. Now using a Phillips screwdriver we're going to undo the top two screws and these ones here. Excuse the dirty oven door, it's disgusting I know. So there's a Phillips screw there and there, the two inner ones. We'll leave the outer ones for now. So now we are going to separate the door, the inner from the outer. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to release the tension on that spring so using a pair of gloves or a rag push push down as hard as you can and then flip that clip over and then release the tension of that hinge and now we remove the two screws holding the hinge in So the hinges are just slightly worn, you just get a little bit of a, a movement there and that's all it is. So what we have to do now is dismantle the spring. So as you hold it like this and push down, you'll see a hole, a hole appear just there. You need to put a nail through that hole. Now you push the lever that way and it releases. The warm part is this little groove here. See how it's got a cup in it. So what we need to do is using a hammer and a screwdriver bash that back to being flat again. So we're taking a large screwdriver going to sit it, sit it up there. It's best to use it on a rather not a wooden floor. It'd be better on concrete or a steel vice or something. I've got it slightly better. If these are too far worn you will have to get new hinges but this It's a little bit better. Okay, now to reassemble. So get the hinge, push that up there, pull the lever back up, and hold that there. And with the vice grips or a vice, you need to click that back into place. I should just click. So I need to tap the hammer as well. That's it. Let's click there now. And now that um, sloppy bit is now gone. It springs right back to home, so we'll do the other one. Just 
run your eye down the length of the hinges some of them can actually bend just there so this one is slightly bent that way so I'm gonna give that a wee bash that's better screw in the bottom And the last four screws, rag or a pair of gloves, and clip this clip back on. Be careful because it can spring back and hurt you. Take note that that little groove there needs to click into the piece of steel just there same on the other side just jiggle it a wee bit there Push down on the door to release those clips. What a disgusting oven. And that should spring back to what it should do. That's it. There we got tension there now, which is much better. Oh God, look at that. Hope that helps some people. Good luck with it all. If your hinges are different, check my other video out. Thanks for watching.